What is a video game player's favorite pastime? Most people would think that the answer is playing video games, but that's actually not true. If there's one thing gamers truly love, it's lying. From small playground rumors to creating entire games just for a YouTube series, rumors and hoaxes have been a part of gaming since gaming existed. And since Nintendo is a company that's been around almost as long as gaming has, and since their fan base is like 90% children and 10% man children, most of their series have a lot of rumors and hoaxes. Mario 64 had the rumor that Luigi was playable, there was a whole game trailer made for Mario Galaxy on the DS, which is a game that does not exist. Pokemon is a game pretty famous for its fake start as an evolution, and of course, Yoshi is a convicted felon. But those have been discussed plenty by every skinny white guy on YouTube, so instead I want to talk about a series that has a lot of rumors but isn't really talked about as much. Today we'll be taking a look at the rumors, hoaxes, fake leaks, and just general misinformation about the Animal Crossing series. When the series came out, the internet was pretty popular but still very much a thing that people were learning to navigate, which is the perfect storm for people to just lie about basically anything they wanted. To ease us into the topic, I want to talk about something that seems like it would be a rumor, but it's actually real. Picture this, you just finished visiting your friend's town in the original GameCube game. You rush home so quick you realize you never even left your friend's town before resetting. When you turn on your GameCube again, you notice two things. Your inventory is white, and you look like this. Now most people would immediately write this off as something from a creepypasta, but as it turns out, this is actually real. I won't talk too much about the gyroid face because everybody else has talked about it before, but I'll run through it really quick. Basically, Nintendo intentionally put this face in the game as a way to make sure kids save their game, make sure that I can't sleep at night, I don't really know what the plan was here. This is a feature that only exists in the original Animal Crossing as the later games really tried to sanitize a series of anything that was too off-putting. But I don't know, I feel like stuff like this would be really cool to see in newer games. But anyway, let's move on to what this video is actually about. Lies. Animal Crossing is a series with a lot of villagers, so you can't really be blamed if you don't know every single one of them. But apparently some villagers are more dangerous than others, at least according to this image that was spread around on Twitter and the internet. It warns of a villager that's actually a bug in the game that was added with an at-the-time recent update. Word spread pretty quickly and people were trying to figure out where this villager came from. Some thought it was a villager that wasn't meant to be released yet, some thought it was something straight out of a creepypasta, and while those two sides were fighting, people who looked at the image for more than like 4 seconds realized, oh that's just an edited picture of Greta. The image was posted by YouTuber Jax Films as part of a video where he tried to get his fans to trick people into believing obviously fake images. So did anyone actually believe this? Yeah, obviously, it's the internet. Most people were in on the joke, but the idea of Walbert moved so far away that people ended up seeing and hearing about the image without even knowing any of the context, and then boom, deception. Walbert has actually kind of become a thing in like the niche of Animal Crossing. There's lots of fan art and stories and even creepypastas. And while we're talking about creepypastas, let's talk about their distant cousins, the anti-piracy screens. Now, I'm not saying that all anti-piracy screens are fake, I'm just saying all Animal Crossing anti-piracy screens are fake. What's my source? Myself. Because I made like <laughs> half of the ones for New Horizons that everybody sees. Anti-piracy screams come in many different forms, from short bits of gameplay that just cut to a skull and crossbones to full-on custom-made dialogue chastising the player for pirating. They typically feature characters from the game, but there are some that feature characters not in the game, but we'll get to that. Scroll through the comments section of any decently made anti-piracy screen and you'll see a ton of people asking if it's real. But what would lead somebody to go through all of this effort to make one of these? All this work just to trick people? Kind of, but mostly it's for those sweet, sweet YouTube views. These videos get stupid engagement, some of which pull in millions of views, and when done right, an anti-piracy screen can be a pretty believable hoax. But that's no fun, so uh, let's talk about a hoax that wasn't quite as believable. When New Horizons got announced, there was a ton of hype from old players and new players alike. I mean, even before the game got released, people were wondering what a fully HD Animal Crossing game could look like. Not that. The possibilities seemed endless for what the next generation of Animal Crossing games could be. These are not that. <laughs> Screenshots started circulating around the internet, seemingly showing leaks from Animal Crossing for the Switch, and probably the most popular of these was for Animal Crossing Globetrotter. The image has had that signature leaked picture blur and depicted a title screen and a screenshot of the player character standing in front of the roost. Eventually people realized these were fake because the player model and the roost model were both pulled from Mario Kart 8's Animal Crossing tracks. The person who made the leak actually made a thread on Twitter discussing it and they showed an animation that was planned but never finished. Once the leak got debunked, everybody started tearing into the pictures talking about how clearly fake they were, but can I be honest? I don't think they look that bad. 
It looks like a pretty natural progression from what New Leaf looked like, and it probably would have tricked me back in 2018, which isn't really saying much because I barely even knew that series existed back then. There are plenty of other fake leaks, but my favorite probably has to be Animal Crossing Neighborhood Voyager. It starts off as any other fake leak with an honestly kind of good logo, and the last screenshot sells a punchline with Isabel saying that anyone can use Photoshop. Quick, to the point, and simple. Everything a good hoax should be. I want to take this time to talk about some rumors and hoaxes that I thought were interesting but couldn't really warrant a whole section. Back in the Animal Crossing GameCube days, there was a rumor that if you reset your island too many times, then Rossetti would permanently delete your island. And while technically this is false, it's rooted in a little bit of truth. If you reset your game seven times without saving, Rossetti would pop out of the ground much angrier than usual. Frustrated that the player just can't seem to stop resetting, he takes matters into his own hands and deletes your island. For like, three seconds. Then he just brings everything back and taunts you by asking if you broke your controller. Harsh. Animal Crossing City Folk introduced something new to the series with its titular city area. One rumor circulated around about a secret room in the Marquee. There's villager dialogue that there is a room above there, but that's about all that we knew about it. That's until screenshots emerged showing the room in all its very empty glory. Eventually a DeviantArt user came out as the creator of the screenshots and the mystery kinda died out from there. And as far as fake screenshots though, these are pretty much top notch. There's multiple angles, nothing stands out to the point where it looks like it's trying too hard, it's just a good looking fake. I think most people know Gulliver as the sailor bird that washes up on your beach and sometimes dresses up like a pirate, but I feel like people seem to overlook the fact that in Wild World, Gulliver was actually an astronaut. He would fly through your town in a UFO, and if you shot him down and found his UFO parts, he would gift you something. But what happens if he runs out of items to gift you? Rumors started to spread that Gulliver would take you to the moon if you shot down his UFO enough, and sadly, this turned out to be fake. But if we ever get an Animal Crossing game set in space, I would love to see this rumor come to life. Alright, so back to the more in-depth stuff. For some reason, people really love adding horror elements to things that aren't really meant to be scary. I already touched a bit on creepypastas earlier, but this rumor predates even those. Rumor had it that in the original Animal Crossing, it was possible to have a random villager move in one night in your town. Now this itself wasn't too crazy, because back in that game, villagers could just come and go whenever they pleased, but this villager was a little bit different. He was a purple bulldog that would come to Player's Island in the middle of the night, and even though there's no one defined story to go off of, most people agreed that he kidnapped a villager, cut down all your trees, and crashed and corrupted your game. His name changed as the story got passed around, so some people know him as Barbie or Rufus, but I think most people know him as Brutus. This is probably the most popular creepy Animal Crossing rumor that there is, and I guess it's just because at the time there wasn't really any way to disprove it. Obviously now it's really easy to go into a game's files and see what is or isn't there, but at the time all you could go off of was trust. And come on, you wouldn't trust an 8 year old on a playground? People have made tons of fan art of Brutus, and apparently there's even a screenshot that seems real, but I haven't had any luck finding it. The rumors died out by now and it's mostly just people asking, hey does anyone remember this? But sometimes, when it gets late at night, and you're all alone with no villagers around, you can't help but to wonder, was that really something purple behind those trees that I just saw? Yeah, but uh, all that stuff's really lame. You want to know something really scary? Losing your island that you spent hundreds of hours on because of this guy. Back in April of 2020, New Horizons released its first major free update that added a ton of things like a museum upgrade, Red the Fox, and the subject of this next hoax. A screenshot started circulating around Twitter depicting the, at the time, new to New Horizons NPC Leaf, with another screenshot of a black screen with a ton of error messages. The tweet read, Warning, do not attempt to talk to Leaf while you have any wrapped presents in your inventory. I had a jumble of seashells wrapped in presents to give to a girl I had a crush on, and due to the game's memory limitations, it will brick your Switch. Please be careful. The screenshot started making its rounds, and since the update was brand new, it wasn't too far-fetched to think that there might be some kind of bug that would ruin your game. It was then debunked when people learned that the bricked Switch screenshot was just an error screen from a hacked Switch running custom firmware. I'd actually never heard of this rumor before because I got the game after the Leaf update, so I have no idea how concerning these screenshots actually were. I also don't know why the original poster put so much information in the tweet, like was it meant to be a joke or did you just want to try to add to the legitimacy of it all? I mean I know the Switch is pretty underpowered, but I'm sure it can handle a couple of rap seashells. But the saddest part of this story is that original poster never got to gift that girl those seashells. Romance really is dead. Alright, I have one more to talk about, and it's another one that I wasn't really familiar with before researching this video. Now as we all know, Animal Crossing fans are desperate for new content. 
I feel like once a week a tweet goes viral of someone saying that Nintendo should put out another update and keep Animal Crossing alive, and people get upset that they can't sink another thousand hours of the game if they don't get a new shirt added. Now every time there's a new Nintendo Direct, fans wonder if Nintendo is going to secretly drop more information about the next Animal Crossing game. But what about when updates were coming more frequently? I'm sure people stopped with speculation there. There's a free update announced for New Horizons in April of 2021, and it had pretty much nothing of interest. Except for one thing. People with much more free time than me noticed that in one of the screenshots showing off new items, the house in the background of the photo didn't look like one that belonged to any villager. And everybody collectively agreed that that was nothing to speculate on. Oh wait, I mean everybody freaked out. Articles started popping up not about the update, but about how that house could be a hint towards something greater coming in the future. Most people at the time agreed that this house probably belonged to beloved but sadly cut villager Wolf Link. The coloring was pretty similar, and New Leaf had an update post-launch that added some new villagers, so it wouldn't be too crazy to think that Nintendo would bring in some new characters through an update. Now, in hindsight, obviously we know that Nintendo added in some cut and new characters, but once the image started making its rounds, Nintendo of Japan issued a statement regarding the screenshots. The statement roughly translated to say, We found that the screenshots that introduced the Children's Day item contained a house that did not appear in the actual game, so we replaced the screen. We must sincerely apologize. This was accompanied by a new screenshot in place of the old one depicting the items inside of a player's house instead of outside. Now I was curious, because the 2.0 update came out about 7 months after this, and that update allowed you to customize villagers' houses and added new characters, like I said. I was wondering if maybe the house shown belonged to an at the time unreleased villager, but it doesn't really look like it. It's possible that the villager house customization mechanic was being worked on at the time, but in all honesty, I think they just chose this because it would look good. And at the end of the day, isn't that what most speculation is? Going way too far in one direction or another, and then the uh, rumors just get way out of hand? I think that's what we all love about rumors and hoaxes. So let me know, did I miss anything? Did you ever fall for any of these? Are you trying to start your own rumor? Let me know, because I have some connections that can uh, help me out with that kind of stuff. I appreciate you guys checking out this kind of different video. I really wanted to try out something that was like a video essay style video, and I had a lot of fun making it. Stick around if you want to catch more content like this, but I appreciate you guys making this far, and I'll see you in the next one.